do you remember how to intro an episode? Because I don't. <laughs> I, I think we used the word so before. So. Here is what gets me. <clears throat> can, you, can you restart that? Can you say, here's what burns my fanny? My Are the kids in the backseat? <laughs> Here's what burns my fanny. A Carolina Reaper win. <laughs> here's what uh, here's what gets me. Now, on a scale of one to ten, I'm about a seven. Okay. Of worry. Ooh. Okay. That's a big worry for you. Third quarter scoring for the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Now, my take is that okay. It seems like the Bills come out hot. And then the third quarter scoring kind of dies down. Right, yeah. One seems to be game planning. Mm -hmm. The other seems to be adjustments. Right. That's why I'm a seven. Okay. Because uh -huh. they could – the script going into a game always looked beautiful coming out. Right. Great. Yep. However – Yeah. Well, Talk and, to me. Huh? Well, and I know that, you know, like, we'll just – I know Greg Thompson from Cover One sees this differently. Yes, he does. Right. No, he sees this differently, doesn't really think that this is a thing. But if you go and you look at the offensive splits, just go on to profootballreference.com and pull up the advanced offensive splits. It's really, it takes 30 seconds to look up. Every single quarter, the Bills have 21 passing first downs. In every quarter, except the third. How many, how many first downs passing do they have in the third quarter of the season? Every other quarter has 21. Every other quarter, they've amassed 21 first downs in the quarter. But the third quarter, I'm going to guess 15. 13. 13? That's a big difference, right? It, it, That's yeah. a, in rushing, this, it's almost exactly the same, or it's the same drop-off. So it's not like they're running, but they're more effective running the football in the third quarter and they're getting yeah. generating first downs that way. It's just that's not the case. There's a significant production drop-off in the third quarter. And I think the easiest way to judge that is look at how many first downs your team's getting. That's telling you whether you're moving the football or not. You don't even have to look at score. To so, say, how are they moving the football? So in 10 games, they have 13 first downs in the third quarter. And just to kind of dispel this. Well, they have passing. 13 passing. Oh, passing. First. So just to dispel this, you know, the comparisons. Because you could say, well, they, they've kicked off a lot in the third quarter. The other team has made adjustments to the Buffalo Bills defense. Okay. You can't stop anybody. Okay. But then what's your excuse for the first quarter? Right. Because it's the reverse. So, right. So right. Yeah, exactly. if it was such a big – a non-factor would have been if the first quarter they had 40 first downs. Yeah. And they have 13 yeah. in the third quarter, and the other, the second and fourth quarter have 20 apiece. Right. That would be the – but the, every quarter has 20. It just seems like there's a little bit of a lull, whether it's adjustment-wise or what. But a factor, I think, has to be considered is the defense. Because if you're kicking off and your defense has not made the adjustments to the, to the opposing team, they're having an eight-minute drive to come out on. Right. And then you come out, maybe you go to three and out, you don't get those first downs, then you get the ball back. Sure. So Sure. I mean I get that, right? But I think there's I think there's an argument to be made that if you look at the defensive splits in the third quarter, it they're not that bad. No? No. <laughs> like they're really not that bad. And and that's I guess another point to bring up, right? People are harping on this defense, but the fact of the matter is that in the last two games, the Bills have jumped from the mid twenties to the low teens in DBOA, right? Which is yeah. like a norm. That's a really good defensive stat. Yes. Like you want to talk about production and to jump from the mid teens to the low teens, the mid the mid twenties to the low teens over two games against two of the best offenses in the NFL. That's a pretty big jump, and I think you can make the argument. Well, Seattle didn't have any running backs that were healthy. You're right. It's true. You're right. You're I mean, absolutely you right. You saw how they were when they did. Right. But Bo Scarborough. Bo Scarborough, I saw. Oh, my God. Roll Tide. Every once in a while, that little blip on the radar pops <laughs> right back up again. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, they didn't uh, They didn't have a run game. But Wilson was – they were 6-1 and one for a reason at that point. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just – it's frustrating when teams – they're not anticipating – changes very well and I think that's kind of where I'm with you right 
you're you're enough games deep now to know how teams are adjusting against you. You, you should have an idea as to how teams will make adjustments against you. And that's yeah. probably what like Belichick just as an example. Read like these really high level coaches. They're always ahead of those, right? Yeah. They can come out in the third quarter. It doesn't seem like they lost a step because they they countered the moves before the defense can really make them, right? They make some of their adjust, or they're able to make some of their adjustments by the end of the second quarter, which throws a wrench in the plans of anybody else. Meanwhile, the Bills, they just stay on the course for the first two quarters, so you know what they're. There's no mystery when they come out in the second half, right? As far as their, what they're going to do. I mean, they have had positive plays, mm-hmm. but but it, when it comes down to brass text, three touchdowns in ten games. In well, the third quarter, and. I, I didn't look at the New England game, so I'm not sure, but I can tell you Arizona came off a turnover, and you told me the Rams one came off a, a four. Turnover on downs. Turnover on downs. Yeah, but, That's yeah. a turnover. Turnover on downs is a turn. They went four on fourth and four, and those went that's right a down turn. Yeah, score, yeah, so. yeah, that's that's a turn. Like, I, I consider a four and out a turnover when you lose nine downs. Like, that's a turn. That's a turnover. I didn't check New England, but if those are the way that you're scoring points in the third quarter, like, those are gifts. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, those are gifts. You got an interception. You went 37 yards for a touchdown. Congratulations. The Rams gave up the ball on fourth down. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Right? Good job. Kudos to turning those into points. I understand but, Absolutely. But it wasn't like a manufactured drive like the first quarter. Right. You know I mean, like, if the Bills only scored points off turnovers, they'd have one win this season. <laughs> right? Like, let's, let's just yeah. be honest about that. Sad right? but true. Yeah, Metallica. let's just be honest. I... Can I be real honest about something? When I first heard you're that tell, song, you're telling me that you haven't been very honest about a lot of things. Well, here. I'm gonna get judged for the Metallica thing, right? Okay. Really thought for the first two years that that song came out that it was Sad Patrol, and I did not understand what that meant. Sad Patrol. You can't tell me you can't hear it. Leave in the comments. <laughs> Absolutely sounds like Sad Patrol. And I know I'm not the only person who's misheard lyrics in their life, but that sounds like Sad Patrol. You're getting an email from James Hedgman. <laughs> Clearly a Bills fan. Yeah, worried about that one. <laughs> There's a couple problems here, and I guess here's where I am with the lack of adjustments, right? Yeah. You have a defensive head coach. Yes. Shouldn't you kind of know how teams are going to counter you if you were in their position? Like, isn't that, isn't there something to be said about that? Like, you've got a defensive head coach, you've had a former head coach, current defensive coordinator, right? Like, you have guys on staff that know how you make adjustments at halftime, yet it doesn't seem to move to the offensive side of the football. And they come out and it's just, they look to see what the other team's doing and they just basically give away the first two possessions in every third down scenario. Well, I mean, (laughs) Frazier McDermott got enough to worry about on their side of the ball. <laughs> Maybe that's it, though, right? <laughs> that's Maybe it. that's it. It could be, I, and I understand. It's it's just what could be the reason for a little bit of the lull that goes on. It's 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 not a recipe for success, as the Buffalo Bills have seen. If you're not able to generate, um, I mean, they're able to generate some yards, mm-hmm. not many first downs. Yep, they scored three times. Mm-hmm. But what is the I, I hear you on 110% as far as the fact is we know what we're doing well. Let's get some self-reflection here. What are we, do, what are we killing them with in the, first, in the first half? I will tell you one thing. that I'm going to give you a stat that you don't know. You're going to be shocked by this. But once I tell you, you're going to go, wow, really? You're oh, well, actually, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Yeah, I am. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on 40, buddy. Knock, knock, knock. It's not pleasant. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Everything sags, I hear. <laughs> Everything just goes lower. <laughs> lower and out. Yeah, the worst part was my credit score. Second, third, and fourth quarter. Jeez. Josh Allen has six sacks in the second quarter, seven sacks in the third quarter, seven sacks in the fourth quarter. Put him at that. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Wrong Josh Allen. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the other Josh Allen. <laughs> How many sacks does Josh Allen have in the first quarter? Zero. Boom. But, but that goes back to your initial point of the script is good. The script's amazing. The script's great. I love no script. sacks in the first quarter. Like, that's a massive stat. Like, that's, that's not the offensive line playing great. That is, you know how to attack this team. 
You just can't make the adjustments. You can't. You can't make the adjustments. Game planning going into a game in the first quarter and making the adjustments that, that have that. You know what? The you know, it's like that example that Mitch Hedberg did in the stand up. He said, uh, he's like, uh, if, you, if you do stand up comedy, they want, to, they want you to write a script. He goes, they want you to do stuff that's related to comedy, but not comedy. He goes, that's like saying, if you're a good, if you're a good cook, they say, okay, you can cook. Can you farm? <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost apples and oranges, though. Like, you're able to come into a game, game planning all week for this particular defense and roll through this defense and do things in the first quarter and get off to a good start, which helps your defense to a, to a degree. Then in the third quarter, try to make adjustments to those things that they're adjusting. Like, there's no way, or is there, that every defensive coordinator has out-adjusted Dable in the, in the second quarter, in the second half. I mean, is it... I mean, when you want to go on trends and patterns, is he getting out-coached in the third quarter of every game? But then what, how do you explain the fourth quarter? Listen, if you're hammering down goldfish crackers and Hawaiian punch in the booth, at some point you're going to have to poop. Can't do it during the game. Hawaiian punch and goldfish. <laughs> so I'm Are just throwing it out flavor? there. You like the pizza flavor? I've, I've had a few. I'm, I'm an extreme cheddar kind of guy. My kids don't like to ch doing cheesy stuff. Really? They like the pizza. They like yeah, the pizza. you isn't dead. They're not down with cheese. No, they are cheesy, but oh. they don't like cheesy oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Dad jokes flying around this car. I know where this discussion could easily go. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just, I didn't. I, the fa <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to state point of fact. They maybe, because we haven't checked the New England game. So I'm not even going to claim, I'm not even going to claim that we did. But, best case scenario, they've scored one touchdown, not off a turnover, in the third quarter of the season. And if, they, and if that was off a turnover, we apologize. You know, like, yeah, I mean, but, but that's not acceptable either way. Does, that's best case scenario. Like, it's, that's, that's not acceptable. Well, it's not have, acceptable. Did he have a pick and a fumble in that game? He fumbled at the end with Zimmer, but I, I digress. But the point being is it's, there's something going wrong where you cannot beat the better teams – if you're only going to score three out of ten times, yep, yeah, that's great. If you're, <laughs> if you're trying yeah, to get, get you in the Hall of Fame, right? <laughs> oh, get you in the Hall of Fame, but, but, so Stupid to tie to, to wrap this up quickly. Do you think, to go back to your point earlier, do you think that as the defense gets healthier, the focus pulls more off of let's keep points on the board and more let's get more points on the board? Because in post in post game pressers, McDermott will even talk about, yeah, we got to figure out how to get this going, right? Like he's not shy about the fact that he knows. He can see it. Yeah, yeah I, I, he doesn't go out and directly say it, but I think you can infer enough from what he said that mm -hmm. he thinks it's a problem. So, do you think as the defense gets healthier, like let's just say if Matt Milano gets back, right? Now that you understand how to pressure with Klein, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, now that you start to figure some things out in this defense. Do adjustments on the offensive side of the ball take a little more priority because you've been kind of keeping your defense on life support for the last few years? Yeah, and that's that's the problem. Okay, we got to get out to a fast start. We got to try right. to put up some points in order to make teams one dimensional, so we know what they're going to do. Right. I understand it completely. Um, that I mean, that's a great point. I just it, it seems like there's a progression that goes on here. Well, <laughs> McDermott talked about well, we got to score at least 21 points a game. We got to go there. Now they're scoring a lot of points yeah, a game. Are. Okay, we need more points in the third quarter now. <laughs> well, it's the games have been close, man. Like you can't yes. you can't just give up whole quarters of football. And seven we and saw three, what that looks like. Seven and three could easily be three and seven, man. There's 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 a, you can name two or three plays. Obviously you can probably do that in every game, but that sounds like a dumb comment for me. But the point being is that you can name plays in games where if they those things don't happen, they lose. Uh -huh. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, the, but the third quarter of that Arizona game was just gut wrenching. It was like it was tough to call. I don't know how you did that, man. I don't know how you did that. Whiskey and Valium? All those white claws. I'm just kidding. Yeah. They're still sitting there waiting for you. <laughs>